All right, everyone, welcome back to StarCraft 2. This is Watopia. I'm here today to introduce you to a whole new series of how to play StarCraft 2 for a very beginner. In this series, I will go through a list of all the things that you might help you learn how to play StarCraft 2 properly and introduce some mechanic. I'll give some tip and trick to all of you who in lower league or just uh, start playing StarCraft 2 not long time ago so let's head right into it first of all if you go into the option menu right over here you click it and you go to the gameplay setting you will see a list of everything you need to know so the first thing I want to mention is the display build screen so if you don't know what it is it's potentially gonna show you where you can put your building so in this case scenario if I did if I deselect this one I cannot put uh, I cannot see where to put the depot down very efficiently however this can be used to a whole lot other option for example right here you can see that if I had the build grid on it's gonna be a little bit easier to lift up the building and land directly into the add-on if you play as a Terran so I highly recommend you to put the display building grid to uh, on so you can probably play the game a little bit better and also not only for Terran the Protoss also had a little bit of advantage so right here you can see that the pylon if you put out a pylon you can uh, power up your structures like gateway, cyber core. However, if the building grid is not up, sometimes you cannot you wall up your natural there. or maybe Pay even attention. your main base, and it's gonna be a little bit tricky to deal with zergling run by or potential marine. However, if the building grid is on, you can see right here the pylon show that you can see where or when not to put that. Uh, the pylon so you can ward up your main base as well as your expansion however another tip of the day if you're playing at Protoss you kind of don't want to put your building and potentially your escape route on one side how it is I'm gonna tell you a little bit of that in another video but stay tuned for that the next thing I want to cover is to select all lava. As a surf player, you kind of want to select individual lava. And why is that? Because when you want to, for example, you want to create an overlord at your expansion, so you can scout out a little bit easier to your opponent. So I highly recommend, if you are a surf player, consider it to turn this thing off. Now, this is one of the most important ones is to always show your worker statue as you can see right here this hatchery requires 16 worker because they have a patch of mirror however something like the gold uh, mirror line right here only have six patch of mineral so only 12 worker is required so i highly suggest that to you have this one on so you will see how much worker you need for your base now this one is one of my favorite trick display experience point so if you play this on rank you will have experience point so when you kill the enemy unit or structure and when the fog of war take over it will display a little bit of numbers to alert you that the building is destroyed very useful to new players the next major thing i want you to know is the enable enemy unit selection right here so what it is so you can select the enemy structures or even unit. I don't know why Blizzard have it to be off. They said that at uh, the beginning of the game, that some of the new player may find it tricky to see if uh, it's your unit or enemy unit. But as you can see right here, I, I highly recommend you to put it in on so you can select enemy structure to know what you're dealing with. Okay. Now we come to a little bit of advanced tip right here show unit life bar I can I will show you the normal life bar that they will uh, only show the life of the unit only if you hover your mouse over them I don't recommend this one 
if you play uh, higher league, but if you just a little bit new to the game, I recommend select it like this. You can see all your units you selected will have the health bar above them, so you can know when unit is being damaged. Now, always show your unit life bar is very, very good. If you I try to approach the game more professionally. However, this scenario like this make it a little bit trickier because there's a lot of like distracting thing on the screen. However, my favorite one is damage. So what is this? It's all the unit will show the light bar when they are damaged. As you can see, this is not only life but also energy. Right here, when I use Queen and Investor Judo Marine, the one with low energy will show up but the one with full energy won't have anything above them and that is what the best thing to this setup okay the last setup in this one gonna be the fly helper as you can see some fly unit need to be attacked for example corrosive bio if you play at Zerg. however without a fly helper as you can see right here the corrosive bio completely missed the liberator if you select as always, it's, it's kind of it's kind of good. However, if there are a lot of uh, unit, not only liberator but like carrier tempest, it's gonna be hectic. If you see all the fire just hover around like that on the screen and very distract you from playing the actual game. However, I recommend you and me myself to put it as selected. So whenever you hover to the Liberator or uh, Battle Cruiser, any kind of flying unit, you will see the Fly Helper help you out a lot. Okay, so that wrap up for this episode of helping you to learn how to play StarCraft if you are a new player. So if you have any question at all, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. In order than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, okay? And as always, see ya.